open any charts on a stocks future forex crypto index or any other financial markets you wish to trade and then select the time frame for this video i'm gonna choose gold and a 15 minute time frame the strategy includes three indicators for the first indicator head over to indicators and search follow line indicator and select this one at the top by dread blitz this strategy i'm about to show you is one of the highest win rate strategies you can possibly do in trading it's very easy to use works in almost every single market and most importantly it makes money well enough talk let's get straight into it then head over to follow line indicator settings and in the style tab Change this shape to below the bar and the second one to above the bar. Then head over to inputs. The BB period should be set at 21 and the BB deviations should be set at 1.5 and the ATR period should be set at 5. When a blue icon appears below the candle, this is our buy signal. And whenever a red icon appears above the candle, it is a sell signal. Now check out these examples to better understand the strategy. But if you use this indicator by its own, sometimes it issues false signals. But to ignore these false signals, I'm gonna add the second indicator to filter out these bad signals. So head over to indicators and search for the second indicator which is called whole moving average. And click on this one. Then head over to its settings. And in the input section, change its length from 9 to 200. Then in the style tab, change the plot color to white and make it a little more thicker. Now whenever the price action is above the HMA indicator, we are in uptrend market, so we should only take buy signals. And whenever the price action is below the HMA indicator, we are in downtrend market and we should only take short signals. So this short signal would be invalid because the price action is above the HMA indicator. But the next signal which is a buy signal, it is a valid long signal because the price action is above the HMA and we are allowed to take long signals. Let's head over to the next signal which is a short signal and the price action is below the HMA so it is a valid signal and we can open a sell order by this way and also the next signal is valid because it is a buy signal and the price action is above the HMA But now it's time to add the third indicator to our chart to filter out the fake signals during the range market. But before that, I'm going to share interesting information with you. Trade Genius has a Telegram channel that shares trading signals for free. And if you're interested to join it, you can join using the link I've placed in the description below this video. Okay, now head over to indicators and search for MACD or moving average convergence divergence. And add this one to the chart. Now head over to its settings. And in the input section, change the fast length to 45 and the slow length to 100. Then change the oscillator MA type to SMA and signal line MA type to SMA. 
Then head over to a style section, get rid of MACD and signal option. Then change the zero line to white and make its type to a solid line. Our setup is ready now, so let's see what are the trading rules. For a buy signal to be valid, we need a long signal by the FLI indicator. As the first confirmation, the price action should be above the HMA indicator. And for the second confirmation, the MACD histogram should be above the zero level. So whenever all these conditions met, we have a valid buy signal and we can open a buy trade. And set the stop loss a slightly below the recent swing low. And place the target one and a half times greater than the stop loss value. And exactly opposite is also true for a sell signal. A short signal is valid whenever there's a sell signal issued by the FLI indicator. And for the first confirmation, the price action should be below the HMA indicator. And as the second confirmation, the MACD histogram should be below the zero level. And whenever all these conditions met, our short signal to be valid and we can place a sell order. Then place your stop loss above the recent swing high. And the target would be one and a half times greater than the stop loss value.